spicy medtech here. So, ito na po yung continuation natin sa ating series on the different board exam recalls and questions. And for this episode, I will be discussing immunoserology and blood banking. Let's begin. Number one, serological tests for which disease may give false positive results if the patient has Lyme disease? A. HIV B. Syphilis C. Hepatitis B D. Hepatitis C So, answer po natin dito sa number 1 ay letter B. So, yung Lyme disease po natin is caused by Borrelia burgdorferi, which is a spirochete. And at times, makapagbigay siya ng false positive with some specific treponemal antibody tests for syphilis. Syphilis also belongs to the class spirochetes. So, answer po natin na letter B, syphilis. Number two, which blood component has the longest expiration date? A, platelet concentrates. B, cryoprecipitate. C, fresh frozen plasma. Or D, frozen RBCs. So, answer po natin dito sa number two ay letter D, frozen RBCs. So, yung shelf life ng letter A ay 5 days after collection yung platelet concentrates. Yung letter B, cryoprecipitate. And letter C, fresh frozen plasma, could last up to 1 year. While letter D, frozen RBCs, could have a lifespan up to 10 years with proper storage. So, answer po natin ay letter D, frozen RBCs. Number 3, which antibody is indicative of chronic active hepatitis? A. Anti-smooth muscle antibodies B. Anti-Smith C. Anti-DSDNA Or D. Anti-CCP So, answer po natin dito sa number 3 ay letter A. Anti-smooth muscle antibodies So, yung anti-smooth muscle antibodies natin or ang asthma are autoimmune in nature. These antibodies attack smooth muscle and is indicative of chronic active hepatitis. Letter B and C, anti-Smith and anti-DSDNA, are indicative of SLE or systemic lupus erythromatosis. And letter D, anti-CCP or cyclic citrinolated peptide, are indicative of rheumatoid arthritis. So, answer po natin dito sa number 3 ay letter A, anti-smooth muscle antibodies. Number 4, the nurse station requested for the closed system whole blood unit of a gunshot patient be packed. Which of the following conforms with the expiration date? A. Expires in 24 hours. Packing causes the expiration date to change. B. Expires in 24 hours due to the risk of contamination. C. None of the above. And D. Both A and B. So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 4 ay letter C. None of the above. So, choices A and B are not applicable to this question since the blood unit in question is a closed system unit which means it cannot be exposed to contamination and the packing does not change the expiration date to 24 hours so ang answer po natin dito sa number 4 ay letter C none of the above number 5 a patient with a history of marrow transplants is in need of certain blood components which of the following is the best method to reduce the risk of graft versus host disease a irradiation B. Washing C. Transfused blood in aliquots or D. None of the above So, answer po natin dito sa number 5 ay letter A. Irradiation So, in irradiated blood components po, its aim is to inactivate the replicative machinery ng donor leukocytes. This is to reduce graft versus host disease. Letter B. Washing is to remove the plasma proteins usually done on allergic patients. So, letter C. Transfusion of blood in aliquots is done to prevent circulatory overload. So, yung answer po natin ay letter A, irradiation. Number 6. Blood bags contain different preservatives. Which of the following acts on ionized calcium? A. Adenine B. Phosphate C. Glucose or D. Citrate so, answer po natin dito sa number 6 ay letter D, citrate. So, itong citrate natin, siya ang nagbabayad ng ionized calcium to prevent coagulation. Letter A, adenine, siya po ang nag-i-increase ng ADP levels ultimately leading to the production 
of more adenosine triphosphate. Letter B, phosphate, serves as a source of 2,3-DPG to promote oxygen release to the tissues. Letter C, glucose, well, glucose serves as a source of nutrition. So, answer po natin ay letter D, citrate. Number 7, which of the following substances gain antigenicity only when coupled to a protein carrier? A. Agglutinins B. Agglutinogens C. Haptens or D. Opsonins So, answer po natin dito sa number 7 ay letter C. Haptens So, yung haptens po natin are considered to be incomplete antigens because they cannot bind to MHC alone. They need to be coupled with a larger molecule like proteins to be their carrier. Letter A, agglutinins, can be an antibody or a lectin that causes agglutination. Agglutinogens naman po ay nagsistimulate ng agglutinin production. Tapos yung letter D, opsonins, enhances opsonization. So ang answer po natin dito sa number 7 ay letter C, haptins. Which of the following tests is a serological test for the diagnosis of recatchal infections? A. Weidel test B. Weil Felix test C. Blondheim test or D. Monospot test So answer po natin dito sa number 8 ay letter B. Weil Felix test So yung Weil Felix test po natin is used for the diagnosis of recatchal infections. Letter A. Weidel test for Salmonella typhi Letter C, Blondheim test is used to differentiate fetal and maternal blood. And letter D, Monospot test is used for the diagnosis of infectious mononucleosis caused by the Epstein-Barr virus. Number 9, which of the following is a dependent form of hepatitis? Hepatitis A, Hepatitis B, Hepatitis C, or Hepatitis D? So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 9 ay letter D, hepatitis D. So, yung A, B, at C, sila po ay stand-alone viruses or viruses that do not need any other viruses in order to be transmitted or to cause infection. Yung letter D, hepatitis D, is dependent on hepatitis B virus for its replication, but it is considered to be the most severe form of hepatitis kapag nag-co-infection na yung Hepatitis B, tsaka yung hepatitis D. So, yung answer po natin dito sa number 9 ay letter D. Hepatitis D. Number 10. A patient screens positive for the virus discovered by Luke Montagnier, which serves as the reference laboratory for the confirmatory of the disease. A. Sacred Heart Hospital. Letter B. San Lazaro Hospital. C. Lung Center of the Philippines. D. East Avenue Medical Center. So, yung answer po natin dito sa number 10 ay letter B, San Lazaro Hospital. So, yung virus na discovered ni Luke Montagnier noong 1983 is yung HIV or ang Human Immunodeficiency Virus, which is yung reference laboratory niya dito sa Philippines ay yung San Lazaro Hospital. So, kapag may na-screen positive for HIV, it is sent to San Lazaro Hospital for confirmation. Letter A, Sacred Heart Hospital, is not a reference laboratory. Letter C, Lung Center of the Philippines is the reference laboratory for clinical chemistry. Tapos yung letter D, East Avenue Medical Center, is the reference laboratory for drug testing. So answer po natin dito sa number 10, ay letter B, San Lazaro Hospital. So yan lang po muna for immunoserology at blood banking. I will be making sequels for each of the subjects if I have the time after kung matapos ang remaining board subjects which is ang clinical microscopy tsaka yung histopath at empty loss. So for now, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button below para ma-inform kayo sa lahat ng uploads ko. Leave a like and comment down below for any topics na gusto niyang i-cover sa channel ko. Tapos, you may share this video with your friends who are about to take the board exam soon. So I guess that would be all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.